Okay, welcome back. Now, this is what I've done, so I'm only telling you what it is I've done. Whether it works well for you or not, I cannot guarantee because things change uh, according to systems that you're using and the sort of computer you're on. So, I look in the applications, and what I've got is I've got a folder which is iWeb New, and inside that is the new iWeb program. And uh, I've got iWeb, the old one, on the outside. Now, you could swap them around, you could have it either way. Um, okay, so that's one thing I've done. So I've got both installed. Now, if you've already, it's already written over your old iWeb, then just put the reinstall, just put the old um, one in, install it, put put the new iWeb into an iWeb new, or put it to another disk, or, or you can zip it even with uh, protective from being written over. So you could even, um, you know, take the, the file itself and, <clears throat> right click on it and create an archive on it that'll stop it from being written over or it should do uh, before you actually go and install um, iWeb 6 again so go and install your iWeb 6 uh, using the old, uh, old disk and uh, then you'll find it needs to be updated twice you update it once and then you go back again to the system um, the other one over here which is called System Software Update. Click that again, and you'll find there's another install, which will bring you up to 1.1.1, I think it is, or something like that. Or 1.1.2, maybe. Okay, now I drag them both into the dock. Um, that's the old one. That's the new one. I think that's the way around it is. Make sure you know which way it is, or you get horribly confused. Now, I'm going to try something here. This should work, I hope. Um, okay, if you've already opened 8, which you probably have, uh, then it's you're likely to get this. I'll open 6 first, and you get this choose an iWeb domain file. So I'm going to actually choose one because I've got my old site. The old site is going to be at uh, my home folder, which is the one with the house on it. Um, library, application support, go down to iWeb, double click on that. And there's the domain, anything that says domain is going to be the, the one, so I'm going to open that. And uh, with any luck my old site should open up, which is a very cluttered and uh, kind of amateurish effort. There you are. See? There's me. Oh my god. That's the old site. Now what I'm going to do is close that. So I'll just quit it. Now I'm going to open uh, 08. Now you may get this with 08 anyway. It appears to me once you've chosen a domain file in 6, it will, um, when you click on 6 again, it'll open that domain won't ask the question again. If you've opened in 8, um, then you've uh, you've got to open in 6 in order to get this on 8. Does that make sense? So open in 6, just like I've done, and then open uh, uh, select a domain file, the old domain, and then go to choose an iWeb domain file, and say, instead of choose a domain, create a domain. Okay. Now, I want to put this somewhere completely different. So I had a folder which I've called New Site. Okay, my New Site folder. And that's got all of my Australian Mac um, files in it. And I'm going, to, I'm going to create a new site. It doesn't give me a chance to actually make it a name. So look, I'm going to put a new folder in here and just call it Test. Because I don't want it to write over anything. Um, name of this folder is test, create, okay, choose, see what it calls it. Okay, that's and it opens up with a blank one. And I'm going to take white, because that's what I like. I'm going to start with a welcome page, double click on that, and uh, my first welcome page, a standard welcome page, will come up. Now, let's just have a look and see what it's done here. Um, CDF, oh, hang on, go back to the new site look for the test one. Oh yes it has, it's created the main file. There's a trick for beginners, be careful. If it doesn't give you a chance to rename it then uh, you're going to end up with a domain file. 
Um, now you can actually change that to any name you like and you can launch 8 by double clicking on that and that'll launch 8. So now you can put the domain file wherever you want and I think that's an improvement. So put that in a new folder and call it new site or something like that and we're going to start getting a, a good structure going in the way that you uh, put your site together. Okay, now what I've got is I've got 08 in a new site open. So now I'm going to go back I'm going to open 06 and it comes back because I've got I've already opened with 08 I had to choose a domain again. And it goes away after a while once you only use one of them. Uh, choose a domain. I'm going to go back to my home folder, library, application support. Um, where's iWeb gone? There it is. iWeb domain. <coughs> With any luck, I should get my old site up at the same time. Now, here we are. Now, the interesting thing is I've got all of my um, site here, which is cluttered and horrible, on the i6, and I've got a new site on i8, both running simultaneously. So it seems to work for me anyway. Okay, now, <coughs> pardon me. If you've got problems, and this is only if you've got problems with... Um, with a conversion of the site and what you ought to do to, to see if you've got a, a problem with the conversion is to make a copy of your domain file um, and then convert that file or open it in in, uh, in 8 let it do the conversion and then look carefully through it save it and then um, don't upload yet, whatever you do, don't upload it <laughs> because a lot of people have had problems with the uploading and then it destroys their site and they end up with a, um, a, a no site up and no way of getting it back up again and no site to play with and, and on it goes. It's best just to leave it at the moment. Don't publish yet. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that if you publish a site made from scratch in 08 you shouldn't have too many problems. It seems to me the problems occur when you're trying to publish one that's been made by various versions of 06.